Hey freaks, it's JJ. Welcome to my channel. Um, I'm very tired. <laughs> I just got back from um, vacation and I came in very late last night. Um, so I'm tired and I'm like still in my pajamas. Um, but I came home to a couple packages on, in my house and I'm so excited. I know I'm super late and most of you who ordered your Vaxxis box set have probably already gotten yours and already have seen what's inside. And I'm sure probably a bunch of other YouTubers have already done unboxing videos and all that cool stuff. But I haven't. So um, we're going to um, open up this box and um, see what's in it. And I'm really excited. And I also need to wake up because I have to work today. So uh, my forehead is like super shiny in this video. I did not even wash my face, I did not do anything, I literally just woke up. Um, so, sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, let's get to it. Let's cut this bad boy open. And see what's inside. I mean, I already know what's inside, but I'm still, like, super stoked to see it. Try not to ruin anything here. Zoom. Sorry about the auto zoom. It's kind of a mess. Ah! Sorry, I'm trying not to knock over my microphone here. <laughs> okay, first things first. The very first thing on top is the signed card here. I'm gonna stick it over here because I feel like I'm gonna knock over my microphone over there. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just waiting for the camera to autofocus. Okay, so this fell out. I'm assuming this is just the regular CD. Actually, I don't know what this is. What is this? It kind of just like fell out of the side here. <laughs> um, is this the actual like CD or is this like bonus material? I don't know. It's weird that it was just kind of like fell out right there. <laughs> Um. Okay, so we have our beautiful signed card right here. Come on, focus. Awesome, that's going to go right next to all my others, of course. Not that I have a bunch of others, just the two other box sets that I have. Um, beautiful. Irish Club recruitment form, how cute. Also, I want to tell you guys, I am so, uh, I don't want to say disappointed because I don't regret going on my vacation, um, but I went on vacation and of course like the one week out of the year that I end up going on vacation, Coheed comes to Nashville to shoot a music video. I'm like, are you kidding? <laughs> like first of all, Nashville of all places, like yeah, it's Music City, but like for country music, so you don't ever expect like your favorite rock band to come shoot a music video in Nashville. And if they do, it's like, just what are the chances they're just recruiting fans from Nashville? Ah, so much. Uh, like, they posted a picture, like, they wrapped the music video for a disappearing act. And I was like, ugh, I could have been in that video. <laughs> but whatever, it's fine. It's fine. Um, I'm excited to see the video. I'm not sure where in Nashville they shot it, but somewhere in Nashville. There's a lot of venues here, I guess. Um, and there's... I mean, Music City, so there's a lot of venues and there's a lot of, um, I don't know, I'm sure there's cool music video places that look like they shot it in some kind of warehouse or something. Okay, so we have our awesome card. It's gorgeous. Um, we have CD. Um, let me open it and actually see what it is. And of course, I have listened to the album. Um, yes, I love it. Um, I could talk all day about it, but I feel like I need a few more listens to it to really appreciate it and really 
get a better feel for it because a lot of times Coheed songs like I'll initially not like certain things then I'll, they'll end up growing on me so um, I think I need a few more spins before I can really give like my honest opinion but I, I will be doing um, actually a um, review on this album a uh, collaboration with a couple other people so I'll keep you all posted on that okay yeah I think this is the actual like physical copy CD which is weird that it's not in the box set but I'm not complaining Usually, like, the CDs are attached to, like, the back of the book, like in the other box set albums, but we'll see. Here we have the book. It looks almost just like the other Baxter's book. Oops. Makes sense. It's, it's quite a series. Yep, same size and everything it looks like. Well, actually, yeah, same size. Okay, cool. Oh, and here is the membership card. Liars Club card. Hopefully there's too much glare to see that. Sorry, that is like a lot of glare. I might have to push it over this. Membership card. Um, it used to be that like when you got these, you got discounts on um, like their shows and stuff um, when they went on tour. I don't know if this is that because there's no, I don't know, number on it or anything. I mean, it's super cool, but like the old ones used to have like an actual like credit card like number on it and it would like give you discounts to their tour. Okay, this is the book that I've been waiting so long to read. Um, that's upside down. <laughs> it's early, okay guys, sorry, I just woke up. Um, wow. Of course the art is beautiful, um, I mean we've gotten to see some of the art um, that they've posted for each of the songs, but okay, wow. So this actually looks a lot like, okay, yeah, there's more text. I was going to say this looks like a short story because I don't see much text, but um, yeah, the white pages look like they have a lot of text on them. You probably can't see that. And I don't know if this will autofocus with enough light to see it. Yeah, okay. Eh, you can kind of see it there. Um, yay! Okay, I'm so excited to read this and then just kind of talk about the storyline with you guys. Um, I've had a lot of you ask me, oh, are you doing Vaxxas 2? Are you doing Vaxxas 2? Yes, I'm definitely um, waiting to autofocus. <laughs> This is may this may be the worst camera for this video because <laughs> I keep waiting to autofocus. Um, yes, I will be talking about the Vaxxas 2 storyline, just giving it an overview, going over it, talking about it. Um, but I need to read the story first, and I haven't done that. So hopefully this weekend um, I'll be um, uploading video uh, about Vaxxas 2 storyline for all of you who are curious. Okay, what else do we have in this box? Ooh, is this the poster? Yes. Is the poster auto focus? Yay! Okay, this is definitely going next to my Vaxxas one, which is over there in the corner. You probably can't see it, but I'll probably have to find a new spot for it because that wall is getting kind of filled up back there. But yeah, whoever did the artwork for this, I'll look up the artist and I'll throw it somewhere in the editing here. But the artist for, um, I don't know if it's the same art artist for both of these albums. It kind of looks like it. I'm assuming it's the same um, the same artist for both Vaxxas 1 and 2, but whoever it is is fantastic. Um, yeah, it looks like it could, it's like literally off of a movie, so it's gorgeous. Okay, now we have our Quintillion speaker. Um, not sure how this, oh, it has a user manual. That's helpful, because I don't know how to use this. So that's it for the box part.
Okay. Which way is up? This way is up. Okay. So we have a little on off switch back here. Um, it has a place to plug it in. Um, let's see if it'll turn on without charging it. No, you definitely need to charge it or something. But that's cool. Does it come with a charger? USB cable. Does it come with a USB? Oh, that's what this is. I thought this was just padding. This is charger. <laughs> I'm sure there's so many better people who've done an unboxing video that this video I'm doing is just pointless. But whatever. Okay. I don't even have my phone charger up here because I didn't charge my phone last night because the phone charger is packed. Uh, oh, still my husband's. Okay. Now it's plugged in. Now let's see if it will turn on. Whoa. Okay, I honestly was not expecting this. It's super cool. I thought it was just going to light up like blue or something. But that is freaking awesome. I know there's like a super huge glare, but that's so cool. Okay, and then this opens. How cool! Oh, it's one of those ones like when you're a kid, like when you touch it, it gets really cool. I don't know if you can see that, but it's one of those. <laughs> no fucking clue what these are called, but like. You know when you're a kid and you had one of those like round things and then it, it did this like when you touched it? That's so cool. Oh my gosh. It's my new night night light, you guys. Just kidding, I don't sleep with a night light. I need it pitch black. Super cool. Um I've heard some complaints about like people don't think that this is quite as cool as like the um creature mask. Um and I would have to agree somewhat, simply because, like, I know I'm never going to have this, like, just plugged in and, like, working all the time. I mean, maybe if I were to have, like, a really cool, like, sweet, like, studio setup one day, maybe I would have this, like, actually plugged in and on in the background. Um, but the problem is you have to, like, have it plugged in and charged and, like, you have to remember to, like, turn it off and stuff. So, um, super cool. I don't think I'll have it like displayed as easily as like the creature mask is super easy to display and just have there and not have to like worry about maintain plug-in or anything like that but this is really cool um and I'm so I'm stoked to see how it like ties in with the story as well and this is fun to do too and I like poking it <laughs> okay this plas oh, it's plasma light that's what it's called the thing I couldn't remember Okay, so that's it for this very poorly shot um, pajama video. <laughs> um, so excited to read the story um, and let you guys all know how it goes. Um, yes, I've of course listened to the album. I love it. Um, it's different uh, than a lot of their other albums, but it's I think it's in the same direction as Vaxis One. Um, I think kind of like the new stuff that they did in Vaxxas 1 is kind of accelerated. And so the, the, I think the band's definitely headed in like a, a new direction that I have thoughts about, um, but I, I'll share them probably later um, because I think I need to, like I said, mull over the album a little bit more. Um, there are some things I lo absolutely love and adore about this album. Some things I'm kind of like, eh, I don't know if that's quite my, um, quite my bag, um, which is fine. Uh, one of the complaints that I've heard from this album is that, like, they're no longer, you know, a rock band, <laughs> you know, um, things are a lot, they're going in, you know, sort of a different direction, but I think that's totally fine, like, I personally prefer it when bands, um, mature and they kind of discover new styles and their, their music evolves, I really prefer that to bands who stay, like, stagnant. Um, even when a band starts going in a direction that I don't particularly like, I think I can appreciate um, that a little bit more than when bands just stick with the same old thing that they're comfortable with. I like to see 
bands grow and try new things, even if it's something that is not particularly like my style that I like. I like to see them grow um, in some way or another. So thank you all for being so patient with me. I know you all are excited for me to talk about the storyline. Um, and yeah, so I'll be doing that. Um, a lot of you have reached out and just let me know, you know, asking if I'm going to do it. I definitely am, and I am so excited that you're so excited to hear about it. Another cool thing that's going on that the band has never done before is they are actually selling the coffee table book, I think, in paperback um, for, like, the very first time. Like, they've never just sold, like, the coffee table book without the box set before, but they are selling them at their um, Window of the Waking Mind tour. So if you have tickets to that tour and you didn't get a box set um, and you still want like a copy, like a physical copy of the story and you want to read it yourself, I think they'll probably have limited quantities available um, at their show or like at their merch booth. So um, that is something new and exciting, which uh, yeah. I think, <laughs> I think the fans have definitely had something to do with that because uh, that's something they've never done before. And I think on their Instagram they said, you know, like, because there's been such a high demand for them to sell just the uh, just the booklet um, that they're actually doing it for the first time now. So um, that's exciting. I have no idea how many, like, they have available. I'm assuming it's probably going to be a pretty limited quantity. So, um, yeah, if you're going to their show and you want a physical copy of the book, I would probably just beeline it straight to the merch um, and try and get there early to get one, because um, I have a feeling these things are going to go fast. Also, since we're here, I also got something else exciting in the mail while I was gone. Um, oh, and it looks like it's already been kind of torn open by the UPS, yeah, UPS people. Um, but that's okay, because it looks like it's fine. It is the graphic novel for Ice Nine Kills, which I am so excited about. Yeah, so it looks awesome. I don't know if you guys can see. Artwork looks great. Um, and I'm not sure if it's going to go exactly with like their songs or if it's just more like a, just a fun story um, with Spencer in it. I'm assuming Spencer is going to be in it um, because he is a main, a main part of the like concept storyline that they, they have for their album. So yeah, I'm excited to read this and let you guys know what my thoughts are about it. But yeah, um, so, so many bands are coming out with graphic novels. Um, I'll throw up like a list of bands that are coming out with their own graphic novels up on the screen here. And I'm tempted to order all of them and read all of them and talk about them on this channel. If you are interested in listening to me um, read, review, and talk about uh, bands in their graphic novels, let me know down in the comments. Also, let me know down in the comments what you thought of the uh, Vaxxis box set, if you got your own, um, what you think of this Quintillion speaker, which, okay, so it's called a Quintillion speaker, and for some reason I was thinking that, like, it would actually, like, play music, um, which I don't think it does. <laughs> um, actually, I'm pretty sure it does not, but that was just, I don't know, I, I thought it was, like, one, like a little Bluetooth speaker. <laughs> It's not, um, which is fine. It's it's just a cool looking, awesome thing to like display and like have on my bookshelf. Um, but I, I thought it played music. Anyway, uh, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and tuning in to me in my pajamas and me in my tiredness. I'll check in with you guys this weekend.